name is uh, Professor Edward Ngu. I am the Associate Dean of uh, Preclinical Department of the College of Health Science. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to the University of Nairobi, and more specifically to the College of Health Science. College of Health Science is a big institution. It has uh, two campuses. Uh, it has the Kenyatta National Hospital campus, which is the main part of the CHS. And it has also the Chiromo campus, which is uh, domiciled in uh, College of uh, Biological and uh, Physical Sciences. We house three departments of the College of Health Science three preclinical departments, that is Department of Human Anatomy, uh, Department of uh, Medical Physiology, and the Department of uh, Biochemistry. We also have other support uh, departments for the college, that is uh, Chemistry Department, which teach our pharmacy students, and the School of Mathematics, which also teaches our pharmacy students. In addition to the ICT, which has been uh, teaching our uh, first year dental and MBCHB uh, students. Now, all students in CHS report in Chiromo. That is where they start their journey. They are six year journey for MBCHB, five year journey for dental, surgery, and pharmacy and of course the four-year journey for uh, nursing students. In addition to those two groups, uh, those uh, four groups, we also have a Bachelor of Biochemistry students who are wholly domiciled in Chiromo, in the Department of Biochemistry, and we also have Medical Laboratory Science and Technology students who also start their first two years at uh, Chiromo, and the other two years are largely covered within uh, Kenyatta, uh, domiciled in the Department of Human uh, Pathology. Um, well, as far as the uh, programs are concerned, we also have two other programs, which are uh, bachelor, which are actually intercalated programs. This is the Bachelor of uh, Medical Physiology, intercalated which is in, uh, in the Department of Medical, uh, Medical Physiology, and we also have a uh, Bachelor of Human Anatomy, intercalated, which is in the Department of Human Anatomy. Now, so, um, students, as you start your long journey in the uh, College of Health Science, I wish to remind you that uh, you know, um, it is hard work. The program for which you have been admitted to are not easy program, and they are not impossible program because others have been where you have now joined, and they have made it. So why not you? It all just require your hard work. You have to plan your time very well. You have to be very organized. You have to consult where you can. And of course, most important, you attend your classes and uh, follow the guidelines as given by your, uh, your teachers from uh, time uh, to time. The Office of the Associate Dean supports the students in their preclinical years. And all the students who report here, they don't have to go to their schools to seek help because all the help is found within the Office of the Associate Dean, and the contacts for the Office of the Associate Dean, I can give us, the telephone number is 020-49-14-115. And the email is, if you can capture it well, it is A-S-S-D-E-A-N hyphen met at unbi.ac.ke. This information will be made available through email to you so that whenever you have issues, you can actually be 
in a position to communicate uh, to us in good time. I want to encourage you that seek help timely. Uh, because uh, I have seen uh, from time to time that sometimes students make a long decision because they fail to consult the right people, or they make the wrong decision after consulting the wrong persons, or even failing to consult at all. So this office of Asojidin is open to all of you. Please walk in there when we report to the campus physically. But uh, meanwhile, you can always communicate to us through the uh, details that I will, have, I will send through your emails so that uh, you are able to get help uh, in a good time and so that you continue to make the right decision because your stay here is supposed to be as comfortable as it can be, but make the right decision. I think that's a message I want to leave with you. Thank you. Uh, I am uh, Professor Walter Jalko. I am a professor in the Department of Medical Microbiology, uh, Professor of Medical Microbiology and uh, Tropical Medicine, and also the director of CAVI Institute of Clinical Research. Uh, CAVI Institute of Clinical Research was uh, started about two uh, two, the year 2000 and the whole concept of the institute is research. We initially started uh, with a focus on a HIV uh, vaccine research, but we have since moved to include other areas uh, of research. So we do vaccine clinical trials, we have done HIV vaccine clinical trials, we have also done uh, Ebola vaccine clinical trials, but we also do other studies. Um, in addition, to the research that we do, we also offer PhD courses. So we have uh, PhDs in uh, infectious diseases, uh, PhDs in immunology, PhD in virology, PhD in social science, and PhD in implementation science. So we welcome you, um, students joining the university. You can visit Kavi and see what we are doing. Um, you're welcome. For those who are interested in research, you can come and uh, talk to us and uh, we can be able to show you uh, the things that we are doing here. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the University of Nairobi Institute of Tropical and Infectious Diseases, UNITED. I'm currently the director of UNITED and my name is uh, Dr. Dafton Moengo. UNITED uh, is an institute that was set up in 2004 out of the Department of Medical Microbiology of the School of Medicine. UNITED was set up as a virtual institute. Um, currently, the uh, mandate of UNITED is in training and research. The current student population is more than 150, and uh, uh, this is also drawn from local and international students. For the research component, we have the basic laboratory infrastructure uh, where we have state-of-the-art laboratories that support uh, uh, research in tropical and infectious diseases. He has brought together collaborators from very many countries across the world. This is delivered from Canada, the US, uh, Belgium, UK, and uh, these scientists have come together to carry out research in uh, areas such as in HIV research, uh, tuberculosis and uh, other areas of significant diseases. And as you can see around, uh, these um, in, uh, in collaborators uh, are occupying space within the building so that as we work together as collaborators in addressing issues affecting Kenyan infectious diseases. My name is Dr. Gladys Mwango. I'm the chair of the Department of Diagnostic Imaging and Radiation Medicine. This is a department that trains the imaging specialist, not only in Kenya, but also in the region. And uh, we have several programs. Our first program began in 1977, and it's the Masters of Medicine in Diagnostic Radiology. And so far, we've trained over 150 radiologists. And like I said, not only for Kenya, but also from the region. Since we get applicants 
right from Tanzania. In fact, we are the ones who, the entire imaging department in Tanzania were all trained in Kenya. From Malawi, from Zambia, from Zimbabwe, even as far as Seychelles. And our graduates are working not only in Kenya, but around the world, including Australia, UK, and Canada. We also have other programs in the department. The other program that we have is a higher diploma in medical diagnostic imaging. And to date, we have trained 30 specialists in ultrasound imaging who are working within different counties in the country and doing a very good service by bringing image, imaging even closer to the people of Kenya. The new other program that we have is radiation oncology, a master's in medicine program in radiation oncology. And this we began last year. So right now it's a very new program. And uh, we already have an intake of eight who are doing their, about to finish their first year. And the new candidates who are coming in are a number of 12. So, so far we are training 20 radiation oncologists for the country. And they're coming from different counties within the country. And this is really a very big step forward in our fight against cancer. As you know, cancer has become the number three killer in our country and even around the world. We also have, beginning from this year, a very, very new specialist uh, program. And this is a fellowship in interventional radiology. And uh, we've taken our first intake of two fellows who will uh, be here with us. And interventional radiology is a training whereby we are going to use technology, we are going to use, and to use it to be able to do not only diagnosis, but also therapeutic options. We'll be using guide wires, we'll be using balloon catheters, we'll be using different gadgets whereby we'll be able now to assist the patients who have different conditions, be it be a tumor that requires to be embolized, an arteriovenous malformation, all that we shall be able to do. I hope that you'll be able to come and uh, visit us in the department and see the different facilities that we have. Our main teaching center is the Kenyatta National Hospital, but we do have collaborations with various hospitals around us, including the Nairobi Hospital and the Aga Khan Hospital, where we take our students to learn nuclear medicine. Thank you, and looking forward to seeing you. My name is uh, Professor Jefitha Karimuria the chairman department of ophthalmology university of nairobi and i would like to take this uh, opportunity to welcome students to the department of ophthalmology this is a department which started in 1978 and we started as a section under department of surgery in 1990 we became a full department of the university of nairobi and our main uh, students a masters in ophthalmology. So far we have trained over 200 ophthalmologists and our ophthalmologists come from Kenya and other countries in Africa so we have trained for many countries. Some are from abroad and uh, an ophthalmology is an eye doctor for those who may not uh, know about it. So eye medicine is a branch of medicine where you do the basic medicine, MBCHB, and then you specialize in ophthalmology. The projects or the courses which uh, we service in the University of Nairobi, our biggest number is MBCHB, that is doctors who are coming to do their bachelor's in medicine and surgery. So you are welcome to the Department of Ophthalmology. We will take you in your year four and year six of your study. And we will take you for formal lectures and also for clinical attachment. When you are doing clinical rotation at Kenyatta Hospital, you will also be able to rotate at the Department of Ophthalmology. The other group which we admit is the Master of Medicine in Ophthalmology. And as I have said, we have so far trained about 200 eye doctors, both in Kenya and internationally. The other group of students which we also service is the neurosurgeons. If you are a neurosurgeon, you have to rotate through the Department of, of Ophthalmology in your third year as part of your rotation in special surgical disciplines. So the other uh, aspect of Department of Ophthalmology, apart from teaching, we have got a lot of research in ophthalmology. 
we do a lot of outreach, we go for outreach, and uh, when we talk of outreach, it's where the staff and master's students, those who are doing master's in ophthalmology, we go to county level hospitals, to peripheral hospitals, where we offer specialized services in terms of surgery and in terms of reviewing patients who require consultant review. Within the College of Health Sciences and the School of Medicine, Department of Ophthalmology, is the department with the most vibrant outreach services. So you come to learn a lot of, about uh, community ophthalmology. Students who are also doing masters in ophthalmology, we also place them in other hospitals within Kenya and also in the region. So centers of excellence for ophthalmology, we call it external rotation. And when we place our student on external rotation, they take two rotations, one in second year and one in third year of their Master of Medicine in Ophthalmology. And during the external rotation, this is the time they are placed in those centers of excellence so that they can be able to see how community ophthalmology is organized and they also get administrative skills and surgical skills. So welcome and thank you very much. Welcome to the Department of Medical Microbiology in the School of Medicine in the College of Health Sciences at the University of Nairobi. My name is Dr. Marianne Moravi, the acting chair of this department. Medical Microbiology offers teaching services for both undergraduate students who are taking courses in nursing, dentistry, medical lab science, pharmacy, and also medicine. We also offer services, teaching services to postgraduate students where we offer masters in medical microbiology and also PhDs in medical microbiology. We also support various departments within the College of Health Sciences in delivering the teaching services and also diagnostic technicalities in infectious diseases. Out of this department we've generated two critical research institutes within the college. That's East United Research Institute and also Kavi Institute of Clinical Research who offer, who are at the forefront also of research in both infectious and non-infectious diseases. Within this department, we have formed and forged very innovative collaborations within the country in the region and also internationally. We've partnered with the University of Manitoba, University of Toronto, and also University of Washington in the United States, who we offer collaborative services where we have students having student exchanges between these two or these several institutions, again, making very innovative progresses in infectious diseases. We've also published widely on various topics such as Ebola, HIV AIDS, COVID-19 pandemic, and various other diseases. We teach and have sections that focus on bacteriolog bacteriological diseases, fungal diseases, myco uh, mycological diseases which fall under fungal, viruses, parasitic infections, and various other infectious agents. And we believe we are also at the forefront in these discoveries. So we welcome you, feel at home in this department, and we hope we'll collaborate in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Department of Surgery, the largest, one of the largest departments uh, in the University of Nairobi, in the world-class department. I'm the chairman of the Department of Surgery, and my names are Dr. Kiboy Julius Givinji, uh, a consultant neurosurgeon, a senior lecturer at the Department of Surgery. Uh, we are training one of the largest groups of surgeons in Africa, and in the region, and also in Kenya. And so far, we have seven thematic units specialized in training specialized doctors, especially in neurosurgery, uh, which concerns operating of the brain and the spinal cord. Then you have one of the top world-class units that trains plastic and reconstructive surgery. The next uh, very important unit is general surgery, which is the motherboard of all the surgical disciplines in Kenya and has trained over 200 to 300 surgeons for the country for a long period. Then we've established also urology, which specializes in prostate disease and started the kidney transplants in the region uh, many years ago. We also have pediatric surgery, a specialized unit, and also 
ENT, the Ear, Nose and Throat uh, Department or unit that also takes care of uh, tumors that relates to the nose and the throat. Uh, this is one of the best departments in the region and trains top surgeons who challenge, who, who are able to manage challenging conditions. We have so far trained for Botswana, we have trained for Cameroon, and we are continuing to train students from Uganda, Tanzania, and the regions in Africa. The University of Nairobi, as you know, is among the top five in Africa, and the department attracts top students from the region and also from our country. So far, we are leading in terms of reconstructive surgery, and we're able to reimplant all the organs. Recently, one of my professors, Professor Kainga, and his team were leading groups of surgeons to reimplant amputated hands. This was a milestone in the region using what we call microvascular surgery. So far, we continue to attract top students in the region, all the top academic, knowledgeable, very brilliant students want to join our department because of the members of staff who are established in this department. Some of the alumni we've had and trained here, uh, Professor Magoha, who was one of our members, Professor Oliech, who continues to work in the department, and many other professors who are we still, still within the department to continue imparting knowledge and skills that are experiential in the knowledge of surgery. Surgical disciplines are changing, and we are changing one where we have young surgeons now who are trained all over the world to continue developing skills that are top in the world, and we are soon going to uh, train our students in the new experience of online uh, trainings surgically, so that in future we'll be able to do also robotic surgery, not only in our country but in the region. We collaborate with many other universities, especially we work, our, our medical school is based at Kenyatta National Hospital, a top referral hospital with a major disease burden. Therefore, the experience the students get here is only world class, and the disease pattern and burden is a big library for our students. In the region, we lead and we collaborate also in Africa, but also internationally, where we collaborate with our external examiners from Oxford, we associate also with Onsei University, and there are many other top universities in the world to continue uplifting our excellence in the department. Thank you. I want to welcome you to this beautiful department, and welcome, and we'll train you to the top level, top achievements uh, in the world. Thank you. I am Professor Anne Obondo. I'm the current chair of the Department of Psychiatry. In the Department of Psychiatry, we have various disciplines that work together as a team for the smooth running of the department, as well as the well-being of the patients. The teaching staff include clinical psychologists, the psychiatrists, and psychiatric social workers. The programs in the department include the MED psychiatry program and we have MSc clinical psychology program as well as postgraduate diploma program. The postgraduate diploma and MSc clinical psychology programs are part-time programs and they run, they are conducted in the evenings between 6 and 8 p.m. and also on Saturdays between 9 and 11 a.m. You are welcome to the Department of Psychiatry. You will meet lecturers who are very welcoming and you will be attached to them for your mentorship. So uh, the programs that we teach are done at Kenyatta National Hospital and Madari Hospital. Madari Hospital is our main teaching hospital. So for the rotations, 
you'll be have a chance to go to Madhari Hospital and you'll work in the wards and in the clinic at that hospital. We also have clinics at Kenyatta National Hospital, that's Child Psychiatric Clinic and Adult Psychiatric Clinic. So you'll also have a chance to rotate in these clinics at Kenyatta National Hospital. And the lecturers will be there to guide you in your work. Research is also done in the department and you will be given supervisors to supervise you in your research work. And this is for postgraduate students who are trained in the department of psychiatry. We also have PhD programs and we have lecturers and supervisors who will be attached for those who may want to do their PhD programs. So I just want to welcome you to the University of Nairobi and to the Department of Psychiatry. You're welcome. Thank you. This is Dr. Chokwe from the Department of Anesthesia. We are domiciled in the School of Medicine at the College of Health Sciences of the University of Nairobi. Our department specializes in the training of anesthesiologists in different sectors, primarily under the MBCFP program, the postgraduate program as an MBED, and fellowships in subspecialty areas of anesthesia. We also serve other departments like the dental school, the school of nursing, school of public health, and subspecialty units in the department of surgery and obstetrics and gynecology would like to welcome you to the University of Nairobi and join us in the program. For the undergraduate students, you will meet us in the senior years as you progress in the medical school. And the postgraduates, you will meet us continuously as you participate in the clinical areas. Thank you. My name is Edward Muge, uh, Chairman Department of uh, Biochemistry, one of the preclinical departments uh, in the School of Medicine. So just as an introduction, uh, biochemistry is generally a laboratory-based um, uh, science that applies chemistry to study biological processes um, at uh, both at the molecular and cellular level. For more details about this, uh, you will be taken through uh, this course extensively uh, in your different uh, programs. So welcome to the Department of Chemistry and the School of Medicine. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Moses Obimbo. I'm uh, the Chairman of the Department of Human Anatomy. It's an important department in the School of Medicine, just like other departments, but this is where you form at the basis of becoming a good doctor for the future. Uh, in this department, basically, you'll be continuing with your studies of biology, but at an advanced level, and uh, you'll be looking at the structure of the human body and we look at it in three aspects, more mainly the gross anatomy, where you'll be participating in the laboratory during your dissection sessions. You'll also study uh, microscopic anatomy or histology, where you look at the tissues under the microscope and you're able to tell how they look like and how they function. And finally, you look at the developmental aspect of the human body through the study of embryology. There'll be other areas like radiological anatomy that you'll be exposed to, surgical anatomy and the clinical anatomy. And all this will make you become a better doctor going into the future. There are a few points that I'd want to advise you as you come to this department and basically as you're studying through medical school. One of the points is that uh, make attending of your classes, whether online or physically, a priority. To attend all your classes without any excuse and do not ever be tempted to miss any class at whatever circumstance. In this regard, you are also advised to be able to hand in your assignments in good time and try as much as possible uh, to avoid asking for makeup exams because you are not ready for a particular exam. Number two, I'd want to advise you to respect your classmates, the ones you're studying with. Respect them, uh, respect your colleagues, respect your seniors, respect your teachers and the children of your teachers because this is key for your future and this is one of the things that you learn uh, about medicine as you learn and just go on. Then thirdly, uh, some of you think that you've been very brilliant for too long. Yes, that's very good. 
But if you think you know biology or you know anatomy or you know chemistry, please read and read again because you'll always find a few areas that you need to tie your loose ends. So keep on reading and keep on revising and discussing with your classmates. And then finally, since you'll be using a lot of uh, uh, cadavers in this department, cadavers are basically people who passed on previously, donated their bodies to the department for you to study. Cadavers are sacred and therefore they deserve veneration. So please treat them with respect and when you're dissecting them, know that they were once human beings just like you and me and then they're the ones that are going to teach you to become a good doctor, a good surgeon, a good physician and so forth. So feel most welcome to the Department of Human Anatomy, the University of Nairobi, and best of luck as you go into your future. Thank you. I am the chairman of the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry of the School of Pharmacy, University of Nairobi. Uh, I want to welcome you to uh, School of Pharmacy and congratulate you once again for performing so well that you could, uh, that you are admitted to University of Nairobi the premier institution where we train pharmacists for the region and for, for the world. In the chemistry, as I've, I've said, pharmaceutical chemistry is where you're going to learn about medicines, how drugs act and why, and also you learn about how you discover new medicines. In this year of COVID-19, you understand that you are trying to even get a database to treat patients. And I, I, I trust that when you join the School of Pharmacy, by the time you finish, you will be among the people who are going to help us as we work to come up with new medicines and more importantly learn how to manage patients uh, in our various hospitals. And uh, finally let me say that we also do in a pharmaceutical chemistry what we call pharmaceutical analysis. I know you have been titrating sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. When you join my department you will now be titrating little medicines like aspirin paracetamol, penicillins, and many others. We will teach you. By the time you finish, you will be experts. So welcome again, and may you have a nice journey in the School of Pharmacy. Thank you. This is Dr. Margaret Oluka, I'm the chairman of the Department of Pharmacology and Pharmacognosy of the School of Pharmacy of the University of Nairobi. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and welcome you to the School of Pharmacy of the University of Nairobi. This is the top school of pharmacy in Kenya, in the East African region, and it's one of the best training institutions for pharmacists. And therefore, to have joined it, uh, you are the best students, and we want to congratulate you. In my department is where we learn pharmacology, which is the science that explains how medicine causes its therapeutic effect, that is the beneficial effects of medicines. We also, in my department, we also learn pharmacognosy, which is the science that explains how we get medicine from natural sources, like from plants and animals. So when you join my department, we shall take you through the processes of how we evaluate medicines for their therapeutic effects, so that you will understand when a medicine is taken, how it makes a patient get well. For example, if somebody has a bacterial infection, we shall show you how an antibiotic works, to cure a sore throat or, to, or how an, an anti-cancer drug works so that it cures cancer. So all this will help you to understand when you go to, with patients to make sure that they, you maximize beneficial effects of medicines and minimize the uh, adverse effects of the medicines. So thank you very much and welcome to my department. Um, hello, uh, my name is Dr. Shital Maru. I'm the chairman of Department of Pharmaceutics and Pharmacy Practice. I congratulate you uh, for getting admission into the School of Pharmacy uh, at the College of Health Sciences. Uh, a warm welcome to you all. Uh, with my department, it is the largest department in uh, the School of Pharmacy. Uh, it is known as Pharmaceutics and Pharmacy Practice. Ideally, it is made up of three thematic units, uh, pharmaceutics, clinical pharmacy, uh, social and administrative pharmacy. So with pharmaceutics, we actually teach you on how to make these medicines that you see out there, capsules, tablets, syrups, controlled release tablets, 
uh, on how to formulate and dispense them. Uh, with clinical pharmacy, we teach you on how to monitor the patients on the therapeutic uh, effects of uh, the medicines that we use. Uh, we cover uh, a lot of uh, patients at Kenyatta National Hospital and you students would be rotating through different wards to see the effects of uh, medicines which have been prescribed to the patients. Lastly, we also teach on how to legally manage yourselves if you have a pharmacy in the community, uh, how to read prescriptions, how to manage your inventory uh, of medicines in the, in the store, how to do business. Uh, and so we kind of uh, approach uh, the entrepreneurial uh, ship uh, topics as well for you. So welcome to my department. I hope you enjoy yourselves in the school uh, for the five years. Thank you so much. My name is uh, Dr. Bernard Ziokamua. I am uh, the chairman of the Department of Periodology, Preventive and Community Dentistry at the University of Nairobi. First, I want to congratulate you for having gotten the opportunity to join the University of Nairobi. The University of Nairobi is one of the premier institutions of learning, not only in this country, but in the whole of Africa. And therefore, having joined the University of Nairobi, you have joined in one of the most um, uh, premier institutions of learning in this country. Once again, I want to congratulate you, and at the same time, I want to welcome you to the University of Nairobi. Um, you are joining this university in a manner that the people who came here before you did not. You are joining it uh, from a distance, virtual reporting. And therefore, um, much as it is virtual, I just want to reassure you, it is as good as the people who came to report here physically. It is my hope that when the current COVID-19 situation uh, is controlled, you will have the opportunity to come to the University of Nairobi and you will, have, you will meet each and every person who is expected to be with you during your five year stay at the University of Nairobi. I want to tell you briefly about the Department of Preventive Dentistry, um, Periodology, Community and Preventive Dentistry. You will do the first bit of it in your first year, that is behavioral science, which you will do it online. Later, you will continue to second year and do Community and Preventive Dentistry in year two. But later when you're in fourth year and fifth year, that is when you do the clinical work of managing patients. Parentology is a discipline of dentistry that involves taking care of our gums. And when you now come to fourth and fifth year, that is when you get the details of it. For now, I just want to reassure you that all will be well, and when time comes, we shall meet face to face and know you by name and otherwise. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Olivia Osiro and I'm the Chair of the Department of Conservative and Prosthetic Dentistry at the University of Nairobi. Uh, in this department, uh, we uh, train uh, students on the aspects of uh, restorative and uh, prosthetic dentistry, which um, aim at preserving uh, the, the teeth and other um, uh, oral and maternal tissues that may have been affected by a number of diseases. So apart from uh, restorations, we also give prostheses which are replacement of missing parts to rehabilitate patients to enable them to continue with a normal life. Uh, even after having uh, some of the dental uh, diseases. So you will come to this department in your 
uh, second year if you're an undergraduate student and of course as a master of uh, dental surgery and prosthodontics you are immediately enroll into this department and so you will spend a considerable amount of time in this department in your training as a dentist. So I'll take this opportunity to welcome you to the department and of course to the university. It's a pleasure to have you enroll as a student during this uh, unusual situation uh, that we find ourselves in, uh, in um, with the pandemic and the, the associated uncertainties. Uh, nonetheless, I would like to assure you that uh, you are in the right place. This is a premier and world-class institution and uh, as you see already in, in the process of your registration that you are ready to move with the global trend of online learning uh, to, to mitigate some of the effects that, uh, of the pandemic that may impact your student prog progression negatively. So I wish you a successful stay as a, as a student as you begin this journey and uh, I wish you the very best as you progress towards your goal uh, of becoming graduates of the University of Nairobi and to, may you excel in this endeavor. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Oral Medicine and Oral Pathology. Uh, this is a department at the School of Dental Sciences which is uh, part of the College of Health Sciences uh, at the University of Nairobi. Uh, my name is Dr. Walter Odiambo and I am the chair of this department. This department has uh, three main divisions. One is uh, the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Two is the Division of Oral Pathology and Oral Medicine. And three is the Division of Oral and Maxillofacial Radiology. Uh, for the students who have chosen dentistry as their choice and have joined the University of Nairobi, you will be finding yourself in this department in your third year of training. In year one and two, you will be at the preclinical sciences in Chiromo and thereafter at Kenyatta National Hospital for clinical uh, subjects in medicine and surgery. Once you are grounded in this subject, you will then join the dental school where you specialize in dentistry. And one of the subjects you will be taught is oral surgery. You will also be taught oral medicine and oral pathology. And you will also be taught oral radiology. So uh, these subjects actually prepare you to be an all-rounded clinician in dentistry. We at this department also offers master's training for those specializing in oral and maxillofacial surgery. And that is a five years course. And so at this time, I also would like to welcome uh, those students who are joining uh, in master's in oral and maxillofacial surgery. You will be joining us after you have done your preclinical years at Chiromo campus and then rotate at the Kenyatta National Hospital together with the School of Dental Sciences where you will then get your skills in surgery. So uh, I'll take this opportunity to welcome all of you to our department and hope that you will enjoy your training and come out one of the best in line with the, our motto of being a world-class university of scholarly excellence. It is in this department that you will achieve excellence in oral and maxillofacial surgery, oral pathology, and oral medicine. Thank you very much and most welcome. I'm Kivinji Alfred, a level six medical student at the University of Nairobi. I wish to welcome you all first years to the College of Health Sciences where the best health professionals are trained and released to serve in the health sector in the country and the rest of the world. I am Kipkemoy Elvis, an incoming level five medical student in the University of Nairobi College of Health Sciences, the greatest healthcare institution in the region. I take this opportunity to welcome the incoming freshman year, class of 2020-2021 in the College of Health Sciences. Uh, my experience in the college has been amazing and uh, the greatest lesson is to 
learn, learn to get your balancing act and stay committed to the cause.